Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm Nich Bajoru, aka Miss Fear for Color Print Back for All Entertainment. If it's your first time joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Is it boldly or oh, me? Now, my ninjas, uh, you guys know this Saturday we're having our first masterclass. There's a yellow banner here, the account number is here. Make sure that you pay 1,000 rands. Thanks to Wolfzilla for sponsoring us. Um, and then here are the phone numbers. WhatsApp proof of payment. And I'll take it from there. I will be accepting payments, guys, until Wednesday. So after Wednesday, uh, yeah. Unless if you know that you have money after Wednesday. And then you can be able maybe to make a deposit. And then I'll be able to add you. And then Saturday we can meet. It's our first masterclass, as I said. I'm super excited about it. But anyway, ninjas, let's go ahead and get into this agenda. Today, we're going to talk about KMs. And also, I do have a, a message to Flaco. It's your name, right? So. <laughs> it's not funny. Serious business here. If you're not Mr. Flaco, please do click out. Like ninjas, today, y'all can go. I just want you to be... You know, KMs doesn't even need to come and be on this one. I just need Mr. Flacco. Sir, I need to talk to you. Like, this goes to, like, Flacco. If other people actually watch, like, all these cheating men out there. Your men that keep humiliating your women, today is your day. Miss Fia Foucault has come to finally fetch your ass, okay? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. We're going to talk about the situation that I actually saw on Twitter. And this literally broke my heart. I will go off by, uh, start off by saying that I, I, I have always said this. I love KM's content. I find that she's very inspirational. I, I found that she has found a way to merge, you know, and, and bridge the gap, which is, um, you know, the high life and also just the relatable girl. You know, you can relate to her, but this is a hand that is constantly lured up and drives a Benz and has a lot of money and is living way beneath the means. And she's the best vlogger in the country, you know? So... She has, she's doing a lot, but she's, she has still managed to stay relatable. Now, any time that KMs has trended, obviously, and uh, besides the back back then when she did the life insulting na lady, but it has always been positive. It has always been positive. It's either she has recommended a product and it's sold out. It's either she wakes up at 5 a.m. and she's very in sorry inspirational um it's either she has done one good thing or another 30 under 30 you know the forbes list the time that oh god decides to trend for nonsense it's about a man mm -hmm. it's about a daughter we're in a flag we need to talk so if you guys remember last year when the pictures came out it was last year right if i'm not too mistaken you guys this year they fly hey i don't know if it was last year or last of last year but i think it was last year if i'm not too mistaken when, when that relationship somehow was leaked and whatever, that was the first time that I also got to see KM's boyfriend's face because we could only hear the voice. I later found out that it does seem like, let me say allegedly because I'm not 100% sure, but allegedly it was Flago that actually posted that picture of him and KM's. And then it was now taken and then it went to the blogs and that's how it became a public thing because Flago's account is private. I am blocked from there now we don't have a problem with that you know there's a fake account <laughs> that i'm going to use but now the thing is instagram has done that thing of block this person and all their accounts so i think he did that because with my fake account i still don't see him so he's not the only one obviously and that's i've decided i'm gonna have to just go and buy a new phone that does not have anything to do with me but anyway let's go ahead and um you know skip on to that part and get to a serious part the way that people are actually talking about kms literally my heart broke and i'm gonna go ahead and start off by this tweet so i'm gonna read some tweets so that mr flag or you can actually understand the kind of damage you're actually doing to this girl. Flago has been cheating on KMs for years and she keeps defending him um, and still accept him if he comes back to her. Oh, to her. Yo, this person, guys, there's no comma, there's no nothing. Yo, I'm so sorry, Shem. So let me just start over. <clears throat> 
So this is by Joy Zelda who says, Flago has been cheating on KMs for years and she keeps defending him and still accepts him if he comes back into her life. Um, she involving Naledi and Bali in her HIV status post is pure disrespect. She should address her failure man to make her happy and leave this ladies. Um, leave this ladies. That's what she said. The next one says, this is still by Joy Zelda. Kayams, the most dumbest woman. Flaco, her boyfriend, just had raw sex with a girl who just disclosed her HIV status on social media. She should stop blaming Naledi and Bali and focus on him who's been sleeping um, around with every girl raw. She posted her status uh, she posting her status is really unnecessary. She then continues to say, KMs be bragging about such a guy for the biggest influencer. Um, she could do better and date someone worth while. Flago doesn't even have that thing that she be um, dragging beauty such as Naledi and Bali in such a guy mess. Um, disgrace. Oh, this person's English, guys, is on another level. Now, this one said, K knew exactly what she's doing she wants the whole flag of hiv saga to die down so she threw those two under the bus so everyone focus on that rather somebody said amidst all this you should be flag isn't um catching any other smoke besides him being told to go back home okay men won um then obviously there's more um and then somebody said you don't come on social media try to hide your cheating as whole man scandal try to deflect the situation by bringing in a lady malela and the scandal you caused play the victim and try to shame the devil and get away with it no i'm sorry kayans i've lost um i've lost it all shame and then this person showed a screenshot of um unsubscribing okay um and then uh, this one says KMs should have put the screenshot of her life. People would have known uh, what she was talking about and she should have only mentioned Mbali's name since she was addressing her fallout with her. There was no need to mention Naledi. Okay. Now, obviously, a lot of people uh, were tweeting. There's a lot of tweets that actually went on. I think that my heart literally broke when someone was even calling KM's dumb because of Flaco. <sighs> At this point, I didn't know anything about Flaco, guys. I honestly didn't. But his reputation and the rumors of him is that he's a very fast guy. The rumors say he is a hoe. Now, KMs obviously loves him. And she's at a point of forever, yeah, nah? because she was still even telling everybody that my man, my man, my man, my man, you understand? Now, for a woman to be public and come out and be bold enough to defend her man um, and put out even screenshots to claim that both instances where he cheated allegedly. He did not cheat because y'all were not together, even though the timing of everything is very questionable for me, especially like when it comes to the timing of that picture at the hotel, Joel had just gone out. I know some people are saying that, well, you know, um, they could have, uh, she could have posted that video later on or blah, blah, blah. But it was still after the time that she had moved to Cape Town and everything. So I don't know if maybe they broke up for a week and he decided to do that or whatever. I don't know you guys, but obviously KM is saying that she's very happy when it comes to this. Now, my message to Mr. Flago is that if you have a woman that loves you the way that especially she's loving you, I think it would actually be very beneficial. Like, feel for her, bruh. Like, don't cheat on this woman. Like, forsake all other women and just focus on KMs. Do you guys understand the level of humiliation and scandal that would arise if there's a girl that can dare come out and prove that she is with Flago or she has slept with him recently when he's together with KMs? Y'all don't even understand. This happened and KMs has been trending for like three days straight. Do you know the, the, the name calling they would actually call KMs? Like, Flago, please just do us a favor, bro. We love KMs. Some of us love her, okay? We don't want to see her getting dragged like this. We really honestly don't. And if there's any advice I'd give any woman out there, never ever defend a man. <laughs> Not in daughter, guys. Yeah! And I get it, you know, I get it. Like, 
when a man has not cheated on you you can defend him but with a pinch of salt you don't have to say words like he would never he has never you know you say things like i've never found out i had to learn the hard way anyway you understand but if he has ever cheated on you you don't defend him whatsoever even if they decide they are going to burn him at the stake like a witch you sit My triple six these people <laughs> you will be defending him in a video today and still today he will go and cheat he will go and put your life in danger that's meant for you so now for me i just like mr flago please man bro please do you see the insults that kians is getting and because of you bro like they're calling her dumb they're calling her this and this because of she's with you she chooses to be with you the least you can do is respect her continue to love her because clearly if you didn't love her she wouldn't be with you but don't cheat because that's the thing that's trending her and maybe change your name from flaco maybe to daniel so that even if they talk about like flaco you're like ah my name is changed i'm actually daniel now I've heard many stories, guys. The Twitter streets, the way they talk about Flago, it seems like, yeah, he is flocking. Yeah. Which is sad. For Kiams. I think that she has done really well for herself. Um, and it's so unfortunate because I've seen a lot of women, even women throw away their careers for a man. I've seen women literally destroy themselves for a man. Insults, like guys. And so the other part again that I'll go ahead and say is this. I honestly believe all these feelings that she's feeling now, even with this whole Naledi situation, they're coming because her feelings were boiled up because of all the things that people were saying on Twitter about her boyfriend and her. Because remember, she trended before. she did and sometimes a woman in love is a woman in damnness and i'm not even going to lie to you guys the moment this young it guys i am in love just i need to write a book that i will read when i'm in love so that the dumb copiness does not creep in ah she will become a dumb cop see now the moment we fall in love You will even talk things that happened four years ago because you're in love. Your the way of thinking, you don't think rationally when you're in love. Now I don't know what happens, Jim, to us, especially women. When we're in love, your love guys will have you out here proving and putting out your HIV status results for love, guys, for love. again chaos there are people that are literally out here saying that we want the window period results after three months go test again and bring back the hiv the results back. <laughs> you you can't please people you cannot and i'm happy that she has found her voice i am happy that she's finding a voice if she wants to defend herself she should it will also help her very much mentally but it will also help her more if her man is not involved in any more scandals of women especially involved and you do not post our kms to just publicly humiliate her ogre no that's not how we do it not here if you posted her then it means you're committing to her then it means you are gonna respect her and not cheat on her and not do nonsense Because what nonsense is this? So I didn't like the way they dragged OKMs. And one thing about Twitter people, your guys, Twitter people change. All the good things that they've been saying about KMs for years. 
guys was it all not just flushed down the toilet this past three days go oh! the level of dragmentation that they did to kms i was like yeah no man this is like a lot was she wrong bringing in a lady a thousand percent but again this is a woman in love guys and remember a woman in love is a woman in dumb copness we don't reason proper we don't think proper but i honestly pray for her that for her sake this flaco guy and his black nails polish hope his fingers are not going places he's not supposed to be <laughs> If you're gonna do anything don't sleep because <laughs> that other picture <laughs> that we saw don't sleep oh man yeah and this also goes out to all men <clears throat> that keep cheating humiliating their women that women stay feel for them she. think for them as well like baswell be human sometimes just stop cheating anyway i do hope that he gets it like honestly at this point if another scandal arises where they're saying hey flago is cheating is doing this and this you are now will believe flago really doesn't love chaos the way chaos cooks for him Hi. No. Hi, I would say he really doesn't love her. After all the dragging she went through, him, he has to have seen. And it's because of him. He is the one that started all this. His name was there. Well, let me, let me not say him. Well, pre pre previous records. Sam, may you change for the better. Anyway, ninjas, I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.